it's February 22nd, 2019. Um, <clears throat> please excuse my sore throat. Um, so here we are back at the jasmine plants. So these are the pikake. Um, it's been it's been about three months since we've been back at these plants, and as you can see, they have uh, grown quite significantly. Um, when we first transplanted them, they were they still looked like little cuttings. So it's been about three months since part three, and uh, you can tell just by looking at part three how significantly um, grown this is since then. So they're they're coming along quite nicely, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any pruning to these plants. I'm actually going to let them kind of grow out quite a bit before I actually prune them down because I would like them to actually uh, bush out instead of um, instead of kind of just grow out like this one here and just drop over, uh, which the main plant over there is actually doing. It's, uh, it's actually growing out a lot of runners. So here's a look at another one of them. And you can tell here that uh, this one's starting to have uh, some runners as well. Looks like it's about to start taking off. And I think with the, uh, with the jasmine plant, it actually is kind of viney. So you see these runners here, they just want to grow out and drop down. But um, uh, like as I stated, I don't want to have them do that. So when they get a little longer, a little bigger, and uh, the smaller ones come out a little further, I'm going to go ahead and prune them down. And these will be brand new cuttings for a brand new grow. So the propagation of this plant will be pretty easy. And um, as I stated in the beginning of this video, these cuttings were grown without any rooting hormone. So with any of my grows, I do not use rooting hormone. And it's not because I don't like rooting hormone. Um, I would just rather try and do it without the rooting hormone because I know that there are plants out there that can actually root without the help of rooting hormones. Although using rooting hormones will guarantee you, will damn near guarantee you a hundred percent uh success rate when it comes to cuttings so i have grown some plants i have um you know done a trial and error with some bougainvillea cuttings um uh and they didn't take so those are one of the cuttings that i would uh i would assume would need something like rooting hormones to kind of help it along the way but with these um peacocky plants here uh, rooting hormones are unnecessary. I do expect that um, that these plants uh, could be bigger, but it's been raining uh, a whole lot here in the past couple of weeks. So um, I'm sure that these roots need a little bit of uh, a little a little little bit of drought um, because these this soil has stayed consistently soaked. Uh, throughout this amount of time and, and with a lot of my plants they haven't taken too well to uh, constant watering so I've moved them to the side of the house just so the soil could dry up just a little bit and let those roots breathe um, I don't find that the jasmine plants had any trouble growing in this medium um, as you can see uh, here in um, at the bottom of the pot uh, we've got the roots of the plant actually kind of reaching out so I would assume They've uh, really stretched out in the soil um, in search of all the nutrients that it can get. And it looks like a pretty hardy plant. Um, you could tell that just by um, the fact that it grew without any rooting hormones. Um, this plant hardly needed any type of support as far as fertilizer goes. I have not uh, added any uh, extra fertilizer to it other than what's already in the soil. Um, so if you watch from part one, you'll be able to follow along with, with how far we've come with these little plants here. And um, I do plan on keeping it for the next uh, couple of years. So we're going to see um, how far we can uh, take these little plants before we actually put them in the ground somewhere. I want to thank you guys for following along with the Pikaki plant. Um, hopefully you guys learned something along the way. Um, one big lesson for me is that not all plants necessarily need rooting hormones when you're creating cuttings out of them. So a lot of videos up there I see on YouTube have uh, the folks using those rooting hormones. And um, I, I like being the one 
to not use rooting hormones when it comes to cuttings because there are those of us who either don't like using rooting hormones or just don't have the money to purchase any rooting hormones yet you want to grow plants um, especially plants as beautiful as this um, peacocky plant because of its fragrant flowers uh, so uh, hopefully you guys um, can uh, go out there and get your own jasmine cuttings it's as simple as getting the cuttings and getting a medium any type of medium it doesn't have to be the same medium that I used uh, but it, it, it should have the properties that any good medium should have uh, so um, go out there get yourself some cuttings uh, stick it in some dirt and uh, watch it grow I'll see you guys on uh, the next update.